Hello everyone, this is Yamin and it is tutorial I need to show you how you can download and install Java in your device. And after installing Java, I'm going to show you how you can run your first Java program in your device. So first of all, in order to download and install Java, just go to your browser and search for JDK, download and press enter. Then you will get this link or about our form. So here you can see Java download. Just click over here and it will take you to this place. And I'll also give this link in the description. Just check it out. So after having here, just go down and here you will see the JDK version. So we will download this version, the latest one, JDK 22. And if we just go down, then you can see Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. So if you are using Linux, then you can download it from here. If you are using my man OS, you can download it from here. And if you are using Windows, you need to download it from here. So I'm going to install it for Windows. So here you can see 64 b MSI installer. So MSI is Microsoft installer and we are going to install this one. So in order to install this one, you need to download it. So if you just click over here, click on this one. It will start downloading there you can see and it is around 163 MB. So I will just fast forward the video and here you can see the download is complete. So let's just go to the download location and there you can see. So right now what we need to do is that we need to double click on this file. So I'll just double click over here. Then burning everything that's two. And then it will show you something like this. Let me just minimize those. So it will show you something like this. Just click here next. And if you want different location, you can choose it as one. Well, but I'll keep it the way it is and click next. And then guess in this installing, it will take a few seconds or maybe a minute. So again, I will just fast forward the video. And then you can see everything is complete. So we can just close this. And after the closing this zone, we need to set our environment path. So let me just go to my folder. And our Java we installed in local C. So we need to go local C. Then we need to go to foreground files, this folder. So just go inside foreground files. And here you need to search for Java. You can just search it over here or you can just manually find it. So I can see Java over here, Java folder. Just click on this Java folder. And once you click on that folder, you will see one more folder and that is called JDK. And you will see the hard shell. So just double click here. And there you can see we have a folder called bean over here. So we need to go inside this folder. And finally, we are in the bin folder. So here you can see at the top, we are able to see the bin folder location. So we need to pop in this location. So control C or just click your right mouse button and then copy this. After mopping this, just minimize this and go to your search bar, Windows search bar. And you need to search over here environment. And here you can see it in the system environment. You need to click on this option. Just click here and it will open something like this. After coming here, you can see we are in the advanced section. So after coming there, you will see a option or button called environment variable. So you need to click on that button. So here it gets a system variable. So after coming there, just go and turn down and here you can see pair. And it is mentioned over here, program files, common files, coronal Java and something. Just select this on and then click on edit. Then you will see this option and here you will see new button. Click on this new button and then it will open over here. So just right click and paste whatever we just copied uh, from here. From here, okay. You could paste it over here and then just click okay. After that, here you can see new button. Just click on this new button for this system variable. Click on new. And here we need to give a name for the Java. And the name will be Java underscore form. Just give this name Java underscore form. 
and again whatever we just copy from here from here we're going to paste it here but this time we're going to remove this pin from here just those options then click on ok then click ok and ok over here as well we completely install java in our device so in order to check it just go to the search bar see over here cnd you can see command from and right now if i just zoom in and if i now set here java dash dash first down and press enter then you can see we are able to see our java version so right now let's try and create a simple java project so hello all music basically so let me just create a folder there so let's say let's name on new folder let's say java basic let's go inside the folder and in this folder i'm going to create a text file so let's just right click click on new and i'm going to create a text file so here you can see text document let's say the document name will be hello Norman java and you need to make sure one thing that is the extension should be always dot java you can give a name anything you want but the extension must be dot java so we're going to write some java code so let's just open this there you can see open in a notepad so right now let me just zoom in here and we're going to write some java code so for it we need cool image on a class let's say class and we need to give a name, let's say here, hello. Then we get to second bracket like this. And for this class, hello, we're going to say public function void main. Then we need to give to first bracket. In this first bracket, we need to set here, string args, then do the third bracket like this. After that, we we'll give to the second bracket. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So inside this, we are just going to print a simple thing. So in order to print it, we need to send error. In Java, we need to say system dot out dot print ln. Then we need to give to first bracket like this, to single position or double position. And inside it, we need to send hello from Java and okay this only public function this only public static public static for me sorry public static quite way so right now what we need to do is that we need to go to our folder where we did our java file so here you can see java basic which we just created so we need to go inside it and we need to open it from our front here so just click here and then it says cmd then press enter and let me zoom in carry cassie currently we're in the java basing project so here we need to say java c then we need to mention our file name and file name is hello.java so we we'll say here hello.java then press enter okay it is giving me some issue file not found but then let me just check the file name here uh in key right click Solar option over his and let me go through details and here you can see we have a mistake over in hello.jama.dash so this is the mistake so we need to fix it so how can we fix it so for the uh here you can see we have a few option at the top just click on q then click on show and here you can see file name extension and there you go it is showing us the dot txt over here so this time i'm going to Rename this on and remove this TXT from here. And this will solve our in Yes. And there you can see this time it is working properly. So the dot TXT part is still not big. So what you need to do is that here you just need to go to the files. Then you need to click over here to save as. And here you will see all files option. Just choose the all file option and then click save and if you click yes it will replace the file okay let me just show you there you guys it will replace the file 
so and there is i think one more mistake i did and that is here you can see string that s will be capital and this system s will be capital so right now let's can open common from in the project location so here i'm going to say cmb then i'm going to say here let me zoom in java c our file name is hello dot java then press enter once you press enter, it will create a file over there. There you can see hello dot class. So this time we need to set here Java. Then we need to mention this file name, which is hello. And we only need to set here hello, not non class. Okay. So now just press enter, and there it is. We are able to see hello from Java. So this is how you can install Java in your device and run your project. I hope this was useful to you. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.